So there's monsters in the garden that are really scary. Plants anyway. Um, and I'll show you how to know if you if you work, how to find them and what you can do about them also. They're called vine weevils. The, the weevil itself is a little beetle. I'll probably try and put, find a picture and put it underneath the video uh, so you can see them. But the real damage is done by the larvae of the beetle, not by the actual beetle. And some plants are their favourites, hydrangeas, uh, euonymus, and what we're dealing with today is these eucharists. Beautiful plant, normally wild berry, but you can see it's not looking great. Ignore this, this is just the winter growth that's gone off. But look, it's got stunted and pulling out the ground. And I've got a feeling when we take him from the pot and put him some, into new compost, that there's going to be an issue with vine weevils. So let's have a look. I'll knock it off over here. Can you see it, Coach? Yep. And normally the telltale sign is they've chewed off the new roots that the plants make and this plant will rock and be loose. That's not too bad actually, so maybe they're not in this one. That'd be typical, wouldn't it? There's not a lot of new root here though. But I'll be expecting now the weather's warmed up. It's like looking for the worst kind of treasure. I'm kind of reassured on this one. Because normally they'd be just underneath the underneath the crown of the plant here. They're chewing away at the new roots and making the right mess of them. And I can't see any. So oh, that's good. I'll show you in a minute what we're looking for. Yeah, they'd normally be around here. Okay, this is good. This will go in some fresh compost. Back in the pot and we'll sort that out. Right, in true Blue Peter style, here's what we prepared earlier. These came out of the pot, these are the horrors. I suppose they're just another kind of animal really. Can you see them? They show what goes here. That's a, they're about half size there, they get, they get a little bit bigger than that before they start to turn into, into the beetles in April and May. These, uh, their eggs from these have been laid last year and slowly through the winter when they hatched out they've latched on tiny little things going through the soil through the compost latched onto the new fresh roots and just chewed them off all the way they work their way around and they kill no end of plants they just they just do what can you do about them well not a lot is it, the truth of that there are chemicals you can buy to put in the soil uh, should you use them they, they won't just kill these, they'll kill every organism that will, you know, that might take them in. Um, there's things you can put on the plants, which will, uh, systemic insecticides, which will go through. Uh, they'll make the roots poisonous when these chew on them, so that will kill them as well. It will also kill pollinators and other insects. Uh, starting to lose options, aren't we? Um, one thing, I'll tell you what I just love to eat these, is the black earth, you know, the normal beetles you find in the garden, the black beetles. That you get under piles of leaves and things like this, um, under boards and under uh, bits and things in the garden. These find these a delicacy. But you know, everyone these days tidies up everything, everything's all swept away and clean and paved and neat. There's nowhere for those animals to live. And then these predators, well, uh, the predators of these things, they've got, you know, nothing to feed on them. So, Options are limited, let's just say. You can put chemical controls on, or you could do what we're doing now, be to strip these out, literally put them in some fresh soil. There's no eggs, there's no larvae in here. And then I'll put those in some fresh compost. And they'll be they'll be good for the for the year. We'll do it again next year. Um what we're we gonna do with these, I'm definitely not gonna leave them here for them to two other things. I've got a little friendly robin out there, he's gonna have a little treat. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful. These are a real nuisance in the garden. Maybe just one of those things.